on the table to on the floor today we have the giant fire breathing toothless and the Grimble and the Death Gripper. Which one do you want to open first? Let's open Grimble and the Death Gripper. We and Thomas, Thomas over here, thinks you shoot it by the head, but I think, no Thomas, Thomas thinks you shoot it by the tail, but I think you shoot it by the head. Because it moves a bit on the head, but the t but the leg moves too. So yeah. I've got my instructions. This is it. This is it. Oh, in the maybe it's a white. And it seems I was right because Thomas just opened his. Don't tell the camera anymore. Don't you at me? Don't. Oh. oh. Let's open the dragon first. Oh, that looks <clears throat> cool. Yep, got it. Here. Oh. There. And then you can just pull them out. That's the death gripper. <clears throat> We're just gonna focus. Well, Hamish, Hamish, you can shoot that far. Hamish, you can shoot. Hamish, 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 you can shoot that far. Hamish, I know. Okay, now let's get this out. Let's get this out now. All right, all right. All right. Okay, we're just gonna skip it for a bit here. We're gonna and now we have Grimble back out. Hey, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Hmm? Hmm? Ah! Beam! 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 Oh! Anyway, we go Grimble right here. He has a what completely white face, which is kind of weird. Then he has his flap stuff here, front, and then two pieces at the back. So all these things that can move are basically this and his arm. So. Okay, we finished this side. Now we're looking on the dragon. It also comes with this projectile. So you just load it up in his mouth. And then you go. So it should be fun. So all you have to do is push down on the head. And it shoots from about two to three feet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mine just hit the wall. So, yeah, pretty good. Now that we finished that, let's open the big 
boy. We are now going to open How to Train a Dragon The Hidden World Toothless. One of the biggest. It's a pretty big one. Its swing span is 56 centimeters and 22 inches. So, yeah, pretty big. Let's open this bad boy. What shall Let's open it from this end. In the back, so ooh, we have a couple glow in the dark projectiles. Slide this thing open. Oh, it's nice. You have to put the tail on. Man. Let's get the uh, scissors because it has some wire. Oh. Mm. This open, so if you can't see, my girls are just staring at it. I'm just looking at you. <laughs> Stop doing So this is him adding his package. This wingspan's pretty big. Don't know if you can see it because it's so big. And then the back. On and off switch. I don't think there's any light. There's no lights on, so I don't think there's any batteries on at the moment. So now let's get out the tail. Now this thing. Some people say it's pretty hard to put in, so probably this. is. I'm be watching. Yeah, that's pretty hard. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pause it and show it to my dad. <laughs> so now we have toothless back out. It's hard to put the. Tail on. Some people say you have to take off the back, but if you if you have pretty good strength, you can put it on. So, wings brand pretty big. You can see wings brand's bigger than the box, just a bit bigger than the box. Not much. Legs aren't moving that much. Is that's how you push down to do stuff. That I. Th think is the projectile then that I don't know I don't know I don't know that's where you put the water in <sighs> right in there oh. uh, okay now there's a tiny bit more the glow the junk projectiles and all that stuff now we have all this stuff. This is just a water container. We can store some water, I think. Oh, Hamish, you can't see it. I don't care. Is that the glow on the dark projector? Yeah, I think you need to put this in the light. So let's just see if this thing works. Not wrong one, I think. <sighs> really just have to put it out. Just turns <sighs> time. <clears throat> this one. <clears throat> How do you why do you push both in the mouth? <clears throat> Maybe. Nope. <clears throat> oh, you have to put it 
in this way. So you have to put it in a certain way. I think. What the heck? I have not. Okay, that Yay. worked. I don't know how that worked. Yay, that worked. Work. Let's try again. That's how you do it. Oh. There we go, that worked. Watch this. Watch it Did you see that shoot? No. That shoot then, that shooted. Mm. <gasps> it's shot. Hopefully you saw that guys, because <laughs> that was a bit hard. What a projectile boo! Sorry guys. So it basically just goes pew. Now fireworks. This is supposed to roll off in the dark. So I don't really know. But I think you need to put in the sunlight, guys. I wish. Let's we'll see. Yeah, there's two. So if you lose one, there's another one there too. And it comes with this. How to train the dragon water thing bottle. You need to, to put it. Put in. the water in. And then, and then you just squirt it in here. And then you. There's this thing you have to open. Shut the spring. That. You just squeeze it in there. So. Fill up right to the top, otherwise it doesn't work. And you can also put a hiccup on there, because there's that thing. I'll just pause this and go see what batteries it needs. So, yeah. Now we have the batteries in. It actually shoots a bit of smoke. I don't know if you can actually see, guys, but... Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. It's turned off. Watch. Hopefully you can see the vapour. Yeah, they can see it. Oh, yeah. So it shoots out blue vapour. And it also has... Blue there. So, pretty cool. And then, the projectile. Smoke. And hit the other ear. You see? And. Oops. Oh, not in, guys. Sorry. Came out. And. Boom. Okay, and that's about it. For today's show, we are signing off. Bye-bye.